Whether you're starting a new sport or learning in school, your ability to absorb information depends on an expanding web of wiring inside your brain. The brain is very dynamic. Your brain doesn't just stop growing and doesn't stop making new connections. It actually forms new connections all the time. Just how this network of nerve cells grows has long boggled our minds. But brain scientist Bonnie Firestein has pinpointed one piece of the puzzle. She and her colleagues studied nerve cells in test tubes. They reported in the journal Nature Neuroscience that a chemical called sipin controls how nerve cells branch out to send and receive signals. The more sipin, the more branches. So maybe this is what's going on in the brain. When you're learning, you're making the, the nerve cells active, you're having um, increases in sipin, and then you're having more branches or more wiring so that you can learn. That's in a healthy brain. Those afflicted with diseases such as Alzheimer's grow fewer nerve connections. And the big pie in the sky idea is to somehow be able to develop therapies that would regulate the number of branches and perhaps increase the number of branches and overcome these learning deficits. But that's years down the road. For now, Firestein will focus on finding what controls the direction of each connection. I'm Brad Closa.